Okay, so <laughs> let me make a video. Yes, this video is, uh, you know, we're all going to die. But I have a, um, well, it, it kind of depends on how we uh, behave. <laughs> If we fight back, we will all die. If we are compliant, if we do what they tell us to do, some of us may proceed to the next phase of human history. So I guess it depends on how we uh, behave. <laughs> So this is a good explanation of the breakaway civilization in Antarctica, the cabal, the, uh, uh, I, and this is a good description of how the cabal operates. I think uh, these uh, Trump type people, uh, I would call them the pro-human or whatever, no, not really, I don't know. But these, I think they found evidence that the election was uh, stolen. <laughs> I mean, I think this is real. And uh, he goes into an explanation of uh, how it was stolen and how, like... And I think they've got the evidence for this. And uh, this might trigger a black swan type event that can... Uh, because the cabal needs to control the U.S. in order to control the world. So they control the U.S. through, you know, election. <laughs> and, but they've been doing this probably, as, as is talked about in this video, everywhere. But anyway, I don't know if I can talk about that. <laughs> my, my channel might get canceled. But I'll share the video anyway. I don't know, man. They might cancel my channel. If my, if my channel gets canceled, um... People should just Google my Instagram. If my channel gets cancelled, um, I'll probably make a video and post it. Well, I have a Twitter um, and I have like my Instagram. So if I get, if my channel gets taken down because of this stuff, you know, YouTube is censored heavily. Um, so anyway, here's it. so here is a quote about Jesus, and I was inspired by this person and other sources. I think Jesus. I don't think Jesus is not coming back. Jesus came to tell us that we are a fractal of source and we have free will because God, source, who created the universe, has free will. Uh, there's this idea of. Uh, I saw this video where it was about geometric shapes, how people in... This is another PSYOP, a, a deep state operation. It's the whole agenda to make people think that matter self-organizes and consciousness is an emergent property of the universe. Because if it's like that, then you're not going to believe you have a soul or... Yeah, there's free will or anything. So that's like a psyop in my opinion. Uh, but think of this that that the universe has why does the universe why do planets form the way they do? Why do certain shapes? Why do why are they orbits? Why do electrons go around an atom, you know? So there, so the idea is there are forms, and the matter conforms to the forms. There are shapes, and the matter, where these shapes come from, that could be another dimension. Who creates the shapes? That's the will. So the will creates the shapes, and the shapes create matter. That's how the universe is created. The creator willed. Uh, the universe into existence and because imagine imagine if you're creating a pot you got a clay right and you want to you want to create a pot so <clears throat> the idea for the pot comes in as a thought you have a thought in your head 
and then you create and then the thought from the thought you have like okay i want it to look like this that's the shape and then you and then you you know you, you mold the matter to look like the form the form that was in your head so the thought creates the, the the shape or the thought and the shape it can be so kind of similar and then the matter is conformed according to the shape <clears throat> but this can be like um but you can just create like uh, if you you can complex systems can arise out of simple systems but the simple system can be like uh, um Anyway, I guess you can you can go into all kinds of areas here, but let me just leave it there. Should I share that video? Let me just share that video. That was a very good video. Um, it was like how like when they cut a leaf, like there are these uh, electrical bioelectrical properties, and and then the. Yeah, electrical form and function. Here's the video. It's a very good video about electrical form and function. I guess I'll share it. Let me not share it. Uh, yeah, share it here. No, I can't share it there. Let me share it here. And what? Let me just share that. <laughs> Let me just share it here. Will create form creates matter. Uh, I think this is how the universe works. There is a creator, the creator creates a form, and the form creates a matter. Uh, anyway. And, and the idea of conscious being an emergent property, I think that's a psyop. That's to make us think there is no, uh, we don't have a, I don't, I don't, I don't believe we have like souls in the sense that, that's just my opinion. I don't, I don't think we survive after that. We, we, we could, we could, it's possible. I don't know. That, that's just possible. Yeah, I could be wrong about that. But anyway, um, the idea of Jesus coming back is a psyop created by the cabal to give people hope about the future. And thereby not take action against the cabal for all the evil things they do in the here and now. Humans don't like being treated badly. If everything seems bad, they will fight back. But if you tell them there is something positive in the future, give them something or someone to hope in or believe in, then they may not fight back. In this way, the idea of Jesus coming back can be regarded as a psyop done on believers and humanity in general and you can take this example and apply to anyone else um, give people hope and they won't fight you but if if they're like uh, pushed against the corner and uh, they will fight back uh okay this is like this was a quote i did yesterday so this one is like right away today you know like around this time the wrath of God, prophets in the Bible always are warning people to turn, always are warning the pe people to turn away from this, to turn from their sinful ways, repent and follow God, obey the rules, modern global equivalent, uh, the U.S. rules-based order. <laughs> That's just, I'm just bringing it in there. If people become rebellious and less, less compliant, they will be punished. The cabal wants to impose a one-world government uh, so they can to advance the technological evolution of this planet. They prefer that you comply with this agenda, but if you fight back, they will resort to more drastic measures. Was Lacerta and other reptilians ev evacuated in 2015? Here is some comment I read and another comment. There are stories of space arcs being activated here. Is this an evacuation for what's coming ahead? I am not sure if a Star Trek future awaits the current version of humanity. 
that future may be for another version that is genetically modified to have psychic capability needed to operate UFOs or perhaps other advanced tech. We have been purposefully suppressed. Pyramids, moon, social media, you know, like this. I think in order to be more psychic, you have to have a lot of focus. And the social media might be like another operation by the deep state. Although it seems like, anyway, to, you know, to, to get us to all fight each other, to, to, you know, short attention spans so we don't use our psychic capabilities because we might have it uh, latent. So we are compliant and less problematic workforce. They used us to build infrastructure, internet, highways, and even underground bases or bases on the moon, Mars, and beyond. Um, and now that they want to upgrade the Earth, they want us gone. They prefer we die off, we either die off in fertility, wars, or famines, you know, like they, all these food uh, uh, factories being destroyed, um, uh, you know by dues, I think, become genetically modified. But we, um, but if we don't comply, they have no problems, but have no problems using dues, weather weapons to cause our great replacement. Um, yes, yeah, so who are the cabal, the cabal are and <laughs> who are the cabal? The cabal, I mean, this is, this, uh, this is not me saying it, it's other people saying it. I'm just sort of, uh, you know, re repeating what they're saying. The cabal, uh, well, um, not everyone is saying exactly the same way, but I know other people say this. The cabal is an unholy, because they do have their roots in the ba in the Elohim, the Bible, alliance of Fallen angels. What are angels? The Elohim who created humanity. Modifying. Uh, simian creatures. Uh, Terran reptilians, uh, serpent, libel. Uh, their cultish followers. Uh, maybe you can put the Vatican in the Vatican or, um, uh, Kazarian Mafia, <laughs> but the Kazarian Mafia uh, should not be confused with the regular Jews. There are Jew Jews are just like people like us, but they're the they're elite, the, 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 uh, the rabbis. It's not all rabbis, but you know, anyway, I, wanna, I don't want to get bad. <laughs> Cultist followers, um, the Nazis uh, from World War II the breakaway who went to Antarctica, uh, the secret uh, space program, uh, you know, like the one of one Brown and all of those people, uh, and the, the, the U.S., I believe. Of course, the U.S. Um, uh, bankers, uh, intelligence agencies, uh, corporations into the MIC the corporations uh, MIC anyway what, what I have to say is the cabal is very have has low numbers but they have control over they have their people in very high places so they, they are able to do a top-down kind of control but they they don't they're not many, and I don't believe all reptilians are in the cabal. 
I think the cabal has might have some reptilians, you know. But like like Lissette, I said, everyone is like a, on a spectrum. Some there, so people can be corrupted for power and control. Uh, so not all reptilians, not all bankers, not all intelligence. Most of the most people don't know what's going on. The cabal is a very few select group. But they control the whole planet, okay? Rigging elections, uh, doing coups, uh, doing have, uh, using dues and weather weapons to intimidate governments. Uh, you know, they can do stuff like, you know, create earthquakes in Japan and say, hey, hey, uh, you know, we most of humanity when they looks when they look at this they think oh it's just an earthquake it's just a tornado oh it's just a factory fire but the people in the know get the message the people in the know get the message when the cabal carries out one of their operations which can be uh, you know uh, earthquakes they, they can tell i'm not saying all earthquakes are done by the cabal but i think this is something the people in the know can tell earthquakes tornadoes uh 911 uh, lahaina Factory fire, do you, do you cause factory fires, you know, food, you know, getting rid of food. Anyway, the, the message is like they, they will get the message and say, okay, I guess I, so if some, if, if some government, some, some says, okay, we're going to do what's good for our country. We, we you know, we don't want to pass laws that, you know, promote some banking interest or something the cabal wants to do and we want to do what's good for our, our country our people the cabal will you know cause some factory fire with the do or do some earthquake and i heard this is what happened to japan that that the tsunami that 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 nuclear if the, you know that fukushima that was like a response the cabal did that because uh, they wanted to the Japan Japanese do to get to pass some law do some something I heard this uh, so they can intimidate people uh, you know and if you look in the Bible and uh, you know why do people pray to the gods uh, because if you pray to the gods the gods will you know give you rain you know they have the capacity to do weather weapons so but if you rebel if you don't pray to the gods meaning if you don't do what the gods want you to do, if you don't, if you disobey, they, you will, there will be consequences. <laughs> so it's like a carrot and stick. You do what they tell you to do, uh, you will usually be okay. But if you rebel, it's going to be bad. You're going to get the stick. But these people are few in number. If the, if the majority know, this is a problem I, I'm thinking. If you, if the majority wake up, and I think a lot of people are waking up, I, but I, but they're pointing it to humans. It's not just humans we're dealing with. We're dealing with non-humans, and we're dealing with beings that might even be in other dimensions who we can't see. Um, you know, the, I was talking. I was going to talk about plasma beings, like, uh, in, like. Uh, you know, plasma is like the fourth state of matter. And and if you think about how form, the matter, uh, there's ge sacred geometry. Think about sacred geometry. Uh, matter is shaped by form and form is created by... If you think of, the, con think of being intelligent and conscious as, as being like having will having the the freedom to create and 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 there are beings that are like that are not material so uh, the point i want to make is we are fighting not simply humans we're fighting powers and principalities uh there are like 
yes, there are beings who are corporeal, just like us, non-human intelligence, but there's also like a, like a, they call it the spiritual. It's not just like oh, angels and demons. These are just intelligent beings who are not human, but who are not perceptible to us. They, they might exist as a plasma form of matter. If you think about like how the jinn, you know, in, the, in, 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 in Islam, they, they're tricksters. And um, there was this video, where I, I heard this, like some of these craft, some of these bodies, they mimic, mimicry. Uh, how does this happen? Look at a AI, okay? When you when you use AI to create AI art, you know how the details look kind of weird, like the, the, the someone's nose might be in a different place, and and and, and some of these craft, they have these black triangles, they look like I I heard I saw this video where this this guy was saying the ball of light the plasma i think with the ball of light sh extended forward into create this long shape and then when he it, it was it was almost like he was saying the ball of light was when he looked away and when he came back it looked like a triangle now so it's like plasma beings that are shaping themselves into things that look like us maybe they're trying to communicate with us you know Matter creating plasma, uh, cre forming into shapes that mimics humans, mimics, uh, because they say some of these non-humans, when, when they did the autopsy, they're like, uh, it didn't make any sense because the, 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 like, the, you will have like a, 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 a digestive system that goes to nowhere. They're like, there's no stomach. Maybe the being that created that that body was trying to mimic what a, a, a human looks like. Anyway, just so they can, why would they mimic us? Because they want to communicate with us. Uh, they want to because they don't want to frighten us. So they create something that looks human, humanoid, uh, to communicate. Uh, so we would uh, not be afraid. But that's just the, you know, the interdimensional spiritual entity. There could be all these different entities. Anyway, we're not fighting just humans. We're fighting non-human intelligences, corporeal, interdimensional. And not all of them are against us. A lot of them might be indifferent. Some of them might just be terraforming the planet. Who created the reptilians? Who created the earth? This, this could be an intelligent process. The creator of the universe is intelligently sort of guiding things, you know. Something to, you know, anyway. I'll leave it there.